Hello, America. I'm Dr. Jake Jacobs. As the Academy Awards are once again upon us, let us remember the words of the father of communist Russian revolution, Vladimir Lenin, who declared, of all the arts, the most important is cinema. Soviet communists created the Comintern, or the Communist International, whose goal was to infiltrate Western culture with Marxist ideology. The Soviets determined that Hollywood must become a mighty weapon of communist propaganda for the advancement of their Marxist cause. Now, many Hollywood writers, directors, producers, and even some movie stars became committed, covert, cultural communist warriors working with the Soviet Comintern, conveying in, the, in their cinema the glory of Stalin's socialism. The Soviet Comintern actually created a number of Hollywood clubs and organizations such as the New Theater League, uh, the Hollywood Anti-Nazi League, the League of American Writers, among many other type of groups like these. These communist fronts pretended to be pro-American while infiltrating Marxist anti-American ideas into Hollywood culture. There were even more bizarre, overt Hollywood writers, directors, producers, and actors who actually joined the CPUSA, the Communist Party of the United States of America, and they proudly spoke of their membership and dedication to the advancement of Soviet Marxist cause. Those who joined the party became loyal Soviet patriots, Hollywood American members of the Communist Party who were dedicated to what they called the Soviet America or the USSA, the United States of Soviet America. These Hollywood traitors, these Benedict Arnolds of the cinema, wanted the triumph of the Soviet power in America. These comrades of the mass murderer Joseph Stalin took their marching orders from the Kremlin. The most fanatical among them uh, remained loyal uh, in the party even after the signing of the notorious Hitler-Stalin Pact of 1939 that launched us into World War II. Now, our American history textbooks are filled with sympathy for the so-called Hollywood Ten that were allegedly abused by HUAC, the House Un-American Activities Committee. Facts that are not covered in our textbooks. All of the Hollywood Ten were actually members of the, of the Communist Party. We've known their Communist Party card number since the 1940s. Dalton Trumbull was number 47187. Dalton Trumbull was a famous Hollywood screenwriter for such Hollywood classics as The Roman Holiday, Exodus, and Spartacus. When Adolf Hitler signed his infamous pact with Joseph Stalin and Germany and Russia invaded Poland, brutalizing Europe, Trumbo justified the Nazi Soviet brutality and actually attacked Winston Churchill and FDR. Now, Brian Cranston plays the victimized Dalton Trumbull in the 2015 movie Trumbull, an agitprop film that glorifies Dalton Trumbull and ignores his admiration and dedication to Joseph Stalin. Now, let me clarify some of the mythology that surrounds the Hollywood Ten. HUAC did not violate their First Amendment right to speech. They could speak and believe in anything they wanted. It was HUAC's job to determine whether the Hollywood Ten had joined a political party that was dedicated to the overthrow of the government of the United States of America. It is a fact that the CPUSA was dedicated to the destruction of life and liberty in America. These Hollywood Ten party members cried over and over again about being refused jobs and, and attacked Hollywood executives as fascists. Now, those patriotic Hollywood executives were simply exercising their right to hire whom they wish. They didn't want to employ those who would aid and abed Marxist political party that wanted to destroy all private property and private businesses. The Hollywood Ten were dedicated to the sacrifice of the individual to the communist collective and Stalin's totalitarian ways. We can thank God there were those in Hollywood like Walt Disney and Clark Gable and uh, Gary Cooper, Robert Taylor, John Wayne, and of course, the great anti-communist warrior Ronald Reagan. They did not fall for the lies and deception of the Communist Party. Now, Hollywood fools of yesterday and today still have the freedom to spout their anti-freedom ideas freely. And like Hollywood writers and producers of yesteryear, we have the right and the freedom to reject their totalitarian ideas and expose their idiocy for what they are. 
chicanery and tyranny. This is Jake Jacobs. May God bless you. And until next time, always remember, the truth shall set you free. If you thought that was cool, check out more videos on freedomproject.com. You'll enjoy them.